my name is Beth Hadley here for Board Game Geek. I'm sitting down with Matt Hyra from Cryptozoic Entertainment, and you brought us another uh, DC deck building box. This is uh, the fourth expansion pack for Crisis. That is correct. This, uh, this, each of the uh, previous Crisis packs kind of went along with one of our base games. So, uh, first game, you know, original game, Here's Unite, Forever Evil, and now Teen Titans. So this is best played with Teen Titans base set, but could be played with anything. Now, uh, the previous crises uh, had gargantuan, world-destroying, universe-ending crisis going on. But Teen Titans has always been a little bit more about the relationships, yeah. sometimes troubled, sometimes rivalry, sometimes romantic. Uh, crises that they have going uh, going on. So uh, I probably should have pulled out the personal crisis cards here. I totally <laughs> forgot to. Um, so nice little box. And instead of all of those gigantic world-ending goings on, <laughs> all right. Well, anyway, we'll just talk about it then. Uh, I think we had this one on display and forgot to pull it out, but that's okay. So, personal crisis cards. Instead of gigantic crisis, now we have personal crisis cards. So, at the start of the game, everyone's going to get a personal crisis. And it could be some little restriction on play, like you can't play cards that cost one, two, or three. Or you can't play ongoing cards. That would be a pretty, uh, a pretty punishing event for uh, Teen Titans because there's a lot of ongoing there. One fun new thing about uh, this particular expansion, it's a new mechanic, it's called Unity. And Unity is basically just testing how together is the group. So if people are working together, you can put Unity cards into play in an ongoing basis. And then, as future Unity cards come into play, you can notice them by the giant U there. <laughs> Every additional Unity card that gets played after that will gain the powers of each previous Unity. Now, part of the mechanic of Teen Titans is sometimes you discard Unity, so you have to kind of judge, is it, would it be better for me to allow others to profit off of my Unity, or should I discard it so I draw and profit off of theirs? That is especially interesting when you can play, com play competitively. Because notice, we have our, our Crisis Heroes, and we have our competitive heroes, just like in all of the Crisis sets. So you can play this cooperatively or competitively, and it will be a very different experience, especially a lot of jockeying around the Unity. In co-op, you're likely to keep your Unity in play, but notice that once they're all in play, no new, no ones, you have to buy new ones to be able to play more to, yeah. to trigger all the Unity in play, so people will be tempted to discard them so they can redraw them and play them to take advantage of all the Unity. In competitive, oh boy, it gets really fun. It gets really fun. All right, so uh, it's a, it's an all new experience because now we've taken the, the the gigantic and turned it to the personal. When you, when is this one going to be available? This one is also going to be available uh, later in the fall, so around October ish. All right, so if you guys want to check that out, this is the fourth expansion to the Crisis series as part of the DC Deck Builder universe. Um, Matt, thank you so much for letting us uh, take you. a little sneak peek there. All right, <laughs> thanks.